welcome back to my channel. In today's video is going to be classroom setup day two. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Haley. I am a second year kindergarten teacher and I am setting up my classroom. I'm so excited. So it's way earlier today than it was yesterday when I came in for classroom setup day one. Um, so it's only 9.40 right now and so I have a lot of time today to hopefully get a lot of stuff done. So I think the very first thing I'm gonna do is set up that board so that I'm completely done with all the bulletin boards and I don't have to worry about that anymore. I brought a measuring tape today so I can measure the wall to make sure that it like actually fits the paper this time. So I think that's what I'm gonna do first and then we'll see what I do next. All right, so I just measured it, cut it, and I put the tape down. So now I am ready to attempt to put it up there. Hopefully I don't get a paper cut again, <laughs> but um, I think it's gonna work. I think it will look really nice. So, here we go. Oh my gosh, I finished the wall. It's not perfect. There's a little wrinkle right there um, that I'm sure you can see, but it looks so good. I think it looks so much better than the pink wall, so I'm super excited. you guys it is much much later now I actually was in a PD for a while I just was listening to it as I was working around our classroom and so I got a lot done like I am pretty sure like I just have some small tasks I want to do like organize my library a little bit more I need to print out like some more book bin labels and there's just like little things that I want to finish up but like the majority of my setup is done and I'm so excited I absolutely love how it turned out um, I am just so excited that it is done and ready because now I can focus the rest of the week on like preparing for virtual learning, finish up some like online things, and then also finish up figuring out what I'm going to send home to the kids, all that stuff. So I'm very excited to be in a productive put together space now. So I'm going to show you guys what my classroom is looking like. All right, so starting over here, I took most of my book bins off of these little shelves because I just put them here when we closed down our classrooms in the spring. And now I just have like some other things over there I need to go through. I put all of my like rugs and pillows and stuffed animals and like play to learn kind of things in this little cubby so that they are out of the way. And then I'll probably just like tape it over for when we have conferences so the kids don't go in there. Um, I showed you guys yesterday that I put up that little banner I have my little makeshift bulletin board. I'm still waiting for my like rod and eyeballs and stuff like that to come and I do need to make that header. Over here, I kind of put together our library. So I took out all the book bins and things and put them over here and kind of rearranged our books. Um, as you can see, I need to make a few labels that I have added new series bins over the summer and so I need to make those labels. I put out um, a few of my back to school books. So I'll just show you guys some of the books that I put out. I think I have a few books coming in from Scholastic, hopefully soon, I think the box shipped today. And so I'll be able to put a couple more books on there that I ordered for the beginning of the year. Um, I have this book bin I still need to put away. I ended up changing around this bookshelf and so I had these little blue lighter blue bins around my library and so I put them all right here because I can actually fit three on a shelf whereas with these bigger ones I can't fit three in the actual shelf and then down here I have a bin of Spanish books that I need to like build up some more but I have a couple and then these are just hardcover books that don't really fit into any of my series bins. So I just kind of put them on the bottom shelf, which I really like because I like those books. I just don't have a place for them. Over here, I put my letter cards out, my little book buddies. I don't have anything down here right now. I put all of my little cards back and I put together the majority of my word wall. I need to find or make some um letters obviously to put the sight words under but i really like how this turned out like really like how it turned out and then i finished this bulletin board and i am obsessed i absolutely love the ship lab i think it looks so good like this back wall i just am in love with like i'm so excited <laughs> so i just put up my color posters um the little color um label 
and I do have new numbers that I prepped and printed and everything. I just really don't want to mess around with trying to take these down and putting them back up without a ladder because if you guys remember last year during my setup videos that was definitely like the toughest thing I did. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to mess with those right now. Maybe when the kids like officially come back. I cleared off this back shelf. I put their book bins and their cubbies just so that they are put away. And then let's see, over here I haven't really done anything I don't think. I am planning on changing out this little birthday sign. Last year I just found this as a freebie, but I think this year I might make my own. That kind of fits more with the theme that I'm going for. So yeah, I am really excited about how it's turning out. I think it looks so cute. So yeah, that is pretty much all that I have been doing. I'm like pretty close to being done. I just have some small projects I could do. Um, but I think I might head out for today just so that I can beat traffic. And then I'll probably just continue this vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll finish up some of the smaller little projects. I think I'll prep some things at home um, because I have a color printer at home. And yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello friends, welcome to classroom setup day three. So today I am going to be pretty much finishing up my classroom. Yesterday I didn't really do much um, while I was here so that's why I didn't vlog but I had a full day of PDs and so I just didn't have time to vlog. But today I'm going to pretty much finish up my classroom. I have a couple small projects that I want to do and then my classroom would be hopefully pretty much done if I can get everything done. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I did yesterday while I was listening to PDs that I didn't get to film. Okay, so the major thing that I got done was my word wall. And so I created these little alphabet, little word wall circles. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Um, so they just have cute little black and white patterns. But back here, you can't really tell what the pattern is. But I am in love with this corner of my classroom, you guys. I think it's so cute. Like... I love it so much. Um, these are all bags of stuff we're sending home to kids next week um, when we have conferences. And my classroom has been rearranged <laughs> once again because, I don't know, they needed to rearrange it again for conferences and stuff. And so I have like, I'm not going to show you, but all of this stuff is like stuff that I'm sending home that I'm just organizing. This is donation stuff. Um, I just need to clean up those couple of things. But yeah, the major thing that I'm going to do today is I'm going to replace this birthday wall. So I'm gonna take down those little signs and I made my own. So I'm going to laminate them, print them out and then cut them, put them up there so that it is new and what I like. I'm not sure what else. I put in a couple of new book bin labels that I made so let me show you so yeah so all of our book bins have labels now and I have been reorganizing my office so I'll show you guys what that's looking like it's a little messy right now but last year I did not care at all about how my office looked as long as it was functional it was good um but it was a little bit disorganized by the end of the year and so it also looks kind of messy right now but <laughs> I'll show you guys what's in my office so in this cubby I have like books that I use quite often, so like my writing strategies and reading strategies, morning meeting books, stuff like that. These are my curriculum books and then these are just random things that I need to find a home for. Over here I have all of my binders, so like my sub binder, my teacher eval binder, my assessment binder, just all the binders are over here. And then I put all of my mentor text right here that I created little labels for in a vlog with you guys. I put them here because I feel like this year I'm actually going to spend a lot of time in my office like lesson planning and stuff because obviously we don't have kids. And so I wanted to have like mentor text that I can remember to pull from right here. And then in here I actually organized this <laughs> which is exciting for me. Um, and so in this bin I just have like extra school supplies like crayons and hot glue guns and stuff like that. I just have a couple of extra books that I don't know where to put quite yet. My laminator, my laminating pouches, and then sight words that will eventually go onto the word wall. And then up here, I just have like random stuff. And then in this cupboard, I have lots of things. These are like books that I got in college. So like Lucy Calkins books and just like other things like that, that I don't use that often. To be honest, I don't think I've ever used them this year, but they're here in case I ever want to reference them. I have Astro Bright Paper um, Lice Spray because if you know, you know. <laughs> and 
this water bottle that someone gave me and then just some random stuff in there and then up there I just have Ziploc bags so that is kind of what is in my office cupboards and then I just have my teacher toolbox blue light glasses lots of different pens and pencils and yeah I moved my small group cart in here because we're supposed to not have extra furniture out there and so I moved them in here so that they're out of the way and then I also have my other book case that I brought in here so that it doesn't take up floor space so yeah that's my little office it's kind of messy right now sorry but <laughs> it's a lot cuter and nicer than last year so as i mentioned i did make little birthday board signs these are just little hexagons with the same patterns that i have on my word wall um and so i need to laminate these and then i also need to print out the like letters that say like birthdays and then I'm gonna laminate them, cut them out, and put them onto my little board. So let's go do that. Well, so you guys, for digital teaching, I got this little laptop stand. It's pretty nice, I will say. I got it on a lightning deal, so that's why I ended up picking this one. But if your laptop's really heavy, you might have to put like a weight on the bottom here, but it is adjustable and I really like it. It really helps my back and my neck um, and it'll give me a better angle for when I am teaching. So I got this and I'm really excited. So now I just printed out the birthday letters. My laminator is warming up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put these into laminating pouches and start laminating. I just finished cutting out all the pieces and so this just says birthdays and then I cut out all the different months and so I think it's gonna look pretty cute so I'm thinking something like this and then hopefully it will fit onto that board so first I need to take down all of those old ones So I'm sure most of you already know this trick, but if you're trying to put like a word up on a board, you can use painter's tape and set it up however you want it so that it's all spaced out evenly and that it's all in a line. And then you just put a piece of painter's tape across it. That way all your letters stay in line and it's way easier to put up on the board. So the birthday board is all done. I really like how it turned out. The glare is kind of bad because the light is right there, but 
maybe I could get some of that like matte spray and that might help a little bit but I really especially like how all the like labels in my classroom now for all the boards are the same font and the same color I just think it makes it way more cohesive and I just really like it so ah I'm so excited so I think that is going to be everything for my classroom setup series. I definitely had to do way less work because we are A, not in person, and B, this is my second year in my classroom. But I absolutely love how my room turned out. I think it's very cohesive and I really, really like it. I think it's calming and cute and I think the parents and the families will like it when they come in. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I will be vlogging next week because it's my first full week of like work. So Monday and Tuesday are teacher work days and then Wednesday, I get to meet like five or six of my students, which I'm so excited about. And then throughout the week, I will meet all of them. And I'm so excited to meet them. So I will definitely be filming my first weekly vlog of year two, which is exciting. So stay tuned for lots of different vlogs and videos throughout this year. I'm really excited to take you guys along throughout my second year journey because I was able to film a lot during my first year. And so I'm really hoping that I'm able to do that again this year. So that is pretty much all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind up.